he didn't notice the lights had changed. A crowd of people stood and stared. They'd seen his face before. Nobody was really sure if he was from the house of lies. I saw a film today. The English army just won the war. A crowd of people turned it wide. Oh, okay. All right, so. I have my favorite guitar players here. Um, we have Chuck Berry. We're going to put them in alphabetical order because this is a library. We have Derek Bailey, Chuck Berry. What, yeah, don't attack my Charlie Christian and Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> So, um, something, one, something that you could say is the same about these guys is that um, they played, they had their own style, and then so many people um, imitated them that um, you almost couldn't move forward. You had to create a new style or forget, or, uh, forget about it, right? But um, so... We have uh, two of these guys did only instrumental jazz or instrumental music, Derek Bailey and Charlie Christian. guys also wrote wrote their own songs and sang so that's very important to me too and um, well it would be hard to say who had the funnier uh, lyrics Chuck Berry's very funny but Jimi Hendrix also um, has some very funny words um, Derek Bailey almost always uh, was playing um, solo or in different combinations of people, but not really a member of a band. And then I think, you know, the only recordings they have of Charlie Christian are with the Benny Goodman band. So this is uh, kind of a, a, a contrast. But this is a kind of uh, one of the great swing jazz guitar styles and just really beautiful tone. Um, you can learn a lot uh, studying uh, his solos. Of course, have Derek Bailey because created his own kind of musical world. Chuck Berry has a very uh, sophisticated style on the guitar. He plays in a lot of keys that most rock and roll guitar players are afraid of, like E flat, B flat, A flat. Um, you can see in the film of the Rolling Stones how they're trying to get him not to play in those keys because they're wimpy. And then um, Jimi Hendrix, of course, also like Derek Bailey, created this kind of universe of sound with with his instrument so that when you heard the record you sometimes didn't know how they were how they were doing it of course when i was a child i didn't know how they recorded a lot of this kind of music i thought they just all set up and played in the studio so we spent a long time trying to figure out how he played all the parts 
on all along the watchtower all at once. So later I realized it was multi-tracking. So we didn't have to learn to be as good a guitar player as you thought. So there we go with these four great guitar players. Thank you.